Kansas State, 41. Oklahoma, 34. I am shocked at this one. Um, I just, I, I look at this, and I cannot figure out for the life of me. Now, I, I will tell you, I'll, I'll tell you what happened here. Kansas State was looking ahead to this Oklahoma game, and that's why they lost to Tulane last week. That's In my head, that is exactly what went on here. Kleiman and Colin Klein and that bunch were geared up for Oklahoma because they thought that they could just walk in and get a win over Tulane, and that turned out not to be the case because it turns out Kansas State is not overly talented. So, yeah, you're not going to be able to do that all the time. Adrian Martinez in this game, 21 out of 34 passing. Like that is I, you I would have never guessed in a million years that that would have come out of Adrian Martinez. Regardless, 21 out of 34 passing, 234 yards, one touchdown here. 21 rushes for 148 yards and then Deuce Vaughn 25 for 116. Uh, okay, uh, this is against the Brent Venables defense. At Kansas State put up 509 total yards. They held the ball for 35 minutes. They were extremely successful. Uh, just, uh, just unbelievably successful. 8 out of 17 on third down, 2 out of 2 on fourth down. Um, they had 6.1 yards per play. Now, Oklahoma was able to put up a lot of yards. You know, they put up 550 themselves, 330 of it through the air. They were able to run for 220, but... This game, like, Kansas State kind of did whatever they wanted to. They were able to get this win, and that's three out of four for Kansas State over Oklahoma. Now, I understand that two of those were against Lincoln Riley. I get that. But Chris Kleiman figured out as soon as he got to the Big 12, okay, that's that's the team that we got to beat. That's the ones that we got to focus on. Nothing else matters if we don't beat them. So we got to beat them. And that's what they've done. I mean, just a fascinating, fascinating football game. Uh, no turnovers. Like, this was not something that Oklahoma just fumbled away. It was not some fluke. It was not, you know, any of that. Uh, Dylan Gabriel, 26 out of 39, four touchdowns, 330 yards. I mean, he put up bonkers numbers. Eric Gray, 16 carries for 114. Like, this is this is just a strange situation because you would look at these two teams and you think that Oklahoma is just the significantly more talented team. And... It turns out, maybe they're not. I mean, maybe they're not at all. Uh, you could see where this thing shifted. I mean, just right in the middle of the game, uh, you go back and look at the play-by-play -play data, and you can tell. I mean, Kansas State came out early, and they went up 14 to nothing. Oklahoma roaring back 14 to 14. Kansas State 21 to 14. Uh, and then it's 24 to 17 at the half. Like, it, it was... It was just a back-and-forth game, and Kansas State traded blows. Kansas State traded blows with Oklahoma all night long. And Adrian Martinez was the hero. <laughs> like that's This is not a common thing. We, we saw that at Nebraska over and over and over again. Uh, I, I can't stress how big of a deal this is. Because Kansas State, uh, you look at what they've got coming up now. Now, of course, we don't know which effort we're going to get week in and week out because you see they lost at home to Tulane, then go on the road and win at Oklahoma. But now you got Texas Tech this week. 11 a.m. kickoff. It's at home. Texas Tech just beat Texas. After that, you got Iowa State. You got at TCU. You got Oklahoma State. You got Te I mean, this is, I, I will tell you, what I learned yesterday is that in the Big 12, anything can happen this year. There is, there's no predicting this because I think all of these teams are very, very equal. It's, it's going to be strange, a very strange season in the Big 12 for sure because I am just, I was, I was floored that Kansas State was able to win that game. I, I thought maybe they could like cover the 13. I didn't think they could win. And that's what really shocked me on that one. Really shocked me. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.